the new katsu curry pot from Aldi is today's food for thought. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is another one of our food for thought videos helping you lose weight. Now today I'd like to talk about one of these pots. Now nutritionally as you know processed foods, ready meals, they're not really that great for you. However there are some which are a little bit better than others uh, and generally the ones without noodles, without pasta are better. So I wanted to highlight this one and it's a new one. I'm new at Aldi and it's called the Katsu Curry, the Japanese one uh, and it's part of their new Asian rice inspired. I think it's about 50p um says low fat oh it must be good for slimmers uh but we're going to go through we're going to dissect it i've already added the water uh so we're also going to do a taste test as well oh, it's actually gone really thick and lovely i'm excited to try this so this is perfect for nurses anybody who goes to work and you've just got a kettle in your staff room uh, and obviously it's nice quick easy meals so let's have a look at the calories first of all the uh, government guideline colours, they are all green apart from the salt, which as you know, many curries and stuff have got a lot of salt in. Uh, nothing, to, uh, nothing to worry about. So it says instructions, first of all. So the, or the, I'll give you the full description. I was on the side. It says instant rice in a chicken flavored katsu style curry. Directions for use, ready in five minutes. Remove the lid, pour boiling water up to the fill line, 180 mil. Stir thoroughly, allow to stand for five minutes. Stir whole halfway through. Oh, let's stir it halfway through because I haven't done that. Oh, that's gone really lovely and thick. Let me lift the lid and show you. So that's me stirring it halfway through. And then, so the ingredients. This is always the important bit with these sorts of foods, isn't it? Uh, Catherine's watching. Catherine, do you fancy a little bit of katsu curry in a pot? So there is pre-cooked dried rice. Seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Pre-cooked dried rice. How can you cook it and it be dried? Um, potato starch, flavourings, palm oil, oh dear it's never a good thing if it's got palm oil in, sugar is also on here, garlic powder, curry powder 2%, coriander, turmeric, salt, allspice, ginger, uh, more garlic, black pepper, cumin, red peppers, um, bay leaves, onion powder, carrot powder, dried carrots, dried garlic, salt, uh, garam masala, which is uh, coriander, cinnamon, garlic, ginger, cloves. God, there's loads of stuff in it, isn't it? It's like a proper spicy curry. Cumin, black pepper, turmeric, rapeseed oil, uh, cayenne pepper, cinnamon oil, garlic oil, and something extract. Now, actually, you know what? When reading, I was reading out those ingredients, it's actually not that bad. You know, because a lot of, especially things like original pot noodles, there's a lot of like emulsifiers, uh, stabilizers, stuff like that. But actually, there's hardly anything that bad. I'm really surprised. Uh, there was four lots of garlic though, which is slightly worrying me. So if you are at work working with the general public, <laughs> you might not want a quadruple helping of garlic. Uh, Catherine's saying, never like pot noodles, that is, they always taste powdery. That is very true. So we'll have a look, Catherine, to see what this is like. As I said, it's not the sort of thing uh, that you should be having on a Saturday night. It is Saturday night, uh, but I just need to get this video done. Uh, but definitely maybe for work, this is something or something you should have in uh, if you can't be bothered to cook, something like that. So the calories, how many calories do you think are in one of these? Uh, one of the highest ingredients near the top there was sugar. Uh, so you won't be surprised to hear, uh, per pot, this is 305 calories. So 305 calories, which is not too bad if it tastes good. Uh, protein, there's 5.5 grams, so only a tiny little bit of protein. Uh, there's even a little bit of fibre in here as well. Anything else that I need to read out uh, is mild on the spice classing. Um, and I think 
we're ready to give this bad boy a test now, aren't we? So let's rip the lid off. Uh, I'll give it one last stir for you to have a little look. You can see that's all steaming up nicely. So you know what's really nice to do with these things is to take this off. Oh, I thought it was going to be see-through. That's not as exciting as I thought it might have been. Uh, we'll leave it on and we will give this a taste test. I'm slightly worried that it's too hot. When I opened it up, the rice grains were really tiny and it looked like couscous and not rice. But now it's all puffed up, look. It actually does look like big grains of rice. So without spilling this all over me, let me give this a try. You know what? That is surprisingly good. I really like that. I really like that. <laughs> and Catherine, you know that's actually not that powdery. Because I know what you mean about um, pot noodles. They do seem to be very powdery, don't they? But I really like that. What I'd suggest for you to do nutritionally, take a few fresh tomatoes with you, maybe you know a bit of cucumber, something like that, just to get the fresh ingredients in there. I would even put that out on a little plate and have a salad or something, and that would taste really nice together. Uh, as I said, that was about 50p. It's new. Now, don't be confused in Aldi, because they're in this section. There's lots with noodles in uh, and processed uh, pasta and stuff like that. So this is the only one that I recommend, and that is the rice-based Right, that's it guys for me for another Food for Thought. As always, give this video a like. Give us a comment. What do you think? Have you tried one of these? Would you like to try it? Uh, and as always, if you're watching on YouTube, click on subscribe. Have a great Saturday night and I'll see you again soon.